Hi, I'm Mark Mush, and welcome back to Furious Fiction. Here with my co-host Diane Roberts. Welcome, welcome back to Furious Fiction, Diane Roberts. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. I'm glad to be here. And we're going to we're going to review a book today. We're going to talk about the book Tinkers by Paul Harding. It won the Pulitzer Prize in 2010 for fiction. So, uh, so what do you think? Oh, I think it's a superb novel. Um, as I was saying to you once before, I, I was afraid that it was about you know guys traveling around selling pieces of tin, which it is a little bit, but that's not at all what it is. It's a, it's a, a story about uh, many lives actually, all filtered through uh, this older gentleman who was lying there uh, on his deathbed, basically. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a, you know, it, it's a very interesting book. It's kind of a deathbed, you know, story. I mean, this guy is remembering things, and then he's actually sort of goes into his father and is remembering things that his father did. And so the whole relationship between them is a lot of the point of the book. And, uh, uh, I mean, there were parts where it kind of got way in the weeds and detail for me in terms of, you know, how clocks work and that sort of thing. Oh, I loved that part. I have to <laughs> say, I love that. I don't know anything about clocks. I don't care anything about clocks. But he made me care because it was so fascinating. And, of course, clocks are a wonderful metaphor. And I think there's a long literary tradition of using a clock as a kind of way to either show the falsity of time, you know, time is a fiction, it's a construct, or remind you that time is passing or whatever, but his loving detail of these clocks, and the clocks are the history of New England, and the history actually of America, I hate to get grand, but I think that's what's going on. Well, and the other thing is, you know, and for so many people, including me, you know, how the book ends is a tremendous, you know, tremendously big deal. And this one ends, I mean, the ending was wonderful, I thought. Yes, uh, yes. So, so, I mean, I think he did a really good job. The, 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 you know, the story of this novel, or what I know of it, is kind of interesting. I mean, this, uh, I think, was kind of a surprise winner of the Pulitzer Prize, uh, published by a very small press, Bellevue Literary yes, Press, yes. Uh, never reviewed in the New York Times that I know of, and, you know, came out of nowhere and won it. Do you, do you think it's justified? I think it is justified. Even even though I worry about what it's going to do to Paul Harding's career. This is his first novel, and that can be a little tough on a writer. But, you know, I, I love it when somebody comes out of the bushes, basically, and wins a Pulitzer. Because, you know, Pulitzers like Oscars, there are campaigns, there are political things that go on with it. And the writing in this is so beautiful. This was an artistic win, I think. This guy's prose is beyond I mean, it's just so interesting. It loops around. Like, it, you'll, he'll tell you a story, and then he'll kind of back up and tell you a fuller version, and then he'll refer to it again. Now, this sounds like it would be boring. It isn't to no, me. No, it's, I mean, yeah. it, he, he, he does a really good, I mean, the writing is superb. I mean, it, it reminded me a little bit of that John Banville book, The Sea. I mean, just yes. every sentence is, you know, there, there aren't a whole lot of bad sentences in there. Um, and, and I, it, but I, I don't know about you, but it, for me, I kind of have these hierarchies of books, you know, there's the, mm -hmm. you know, not so good there's the good but not great there's the you know valiant effort there's the really really good and then there's the transcendental you know the top notch that not many people get to yeah yeah I mean this for me was in the very very good I mean I'd agree with that uh, I, I'm not ready to declare it a you know masterpiece of the of, of, of American fiction for all time but who knows I mean things uh, you know, well, fashions changed all of that well and it's a very kind of slight book too I mean I don't yeah. you know 150 200 pages yeah. maybe I mean this is not a you know, so, so I mean, if you're going to pick up a book, you know, you want good writing, you know, you want to, you know, you want to read something that's really you know, kind of a worthwhile read. I mean, this is this is right there. And something that's very beautiful, just on the sentence level, on the paragraph level, uh, very, very beautiful to read, and just the language itself is so gorgeous, it's uplifting. Now, when, when you think about the Pulitzer, though, and you know, and I mean, is this the best book of the year? I mean, have you read better books this year than this? I mean, it's hard sometimes to mm -hmm. it is for me to compare books. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm, I'm most of the way through Freedom, which I guess was mm -hmm. a uh, competitor for this. I mean, v yeah, very, very good. I mean, different book, you know, just kind of sprawling, you know, big. I mean, big, you know, big. I mean, you know, in the yeah. hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pages. But so, you know, so I don't know, how, how do you compare books like that? You know, I think once they get to a final 10 or something, you could give it to any of them. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, there are a lot of novels published every year, so you could give it to to any of them. And I mean, I think part of the fun and the sport of all of this is to go, wait a minute, this should have won. No, that should have won. It at least gets people talking about books. Well, no, and, and, and you know, I mean, uh, you know, 
everybody likes different things, and so you know, so Diane and I like different things. Although on this one, I think we agree that this is this is this is worth this is worth the time to read this. Absolutely, I'm really really glad that this was brought to my attention. I missed it. I was completely. I'd heard it won the Pulitzer, and I'm like, eh, I don't know what that is. <laughs> so, but I'm really glad I read it, and it it is it is a very beautiful thing. And he he bites off a big. This is not just one life; it's many generations. And yet here it is in this small space of storytelling and you know kind of beautiful condensed imagery. I mean, I, I highly recommend it. So the book is Tinkers it's by Paul Harding, the winner of the Pulitzer Prize for Fiction in 2010. Uh, I'm Mark Mustin with Diane Roberts here on Furious Fiction. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.